Okay. <coughs> All right. So the next approach, like I said before, and I'm just write this down. Is actually taking the uh, the uh, PCA approach versus uh, geodesic. Uh, right. So, so we take the PCA approach, uh, the classical thing. We already have this implemented, and we have some results with that. And we then compare it to a ge geodesic type of approach that also uses. Uh, uh, GMDS in some sense, and we could actually just compare it to pure GMDS. So we have results for uh, pure GMDS, and here we are talking about geodesics plus PCA. So the first stage, I believe, we, we have to try and uh, work on, uh, practically speaking, is the uh, is basically the stage where we implement and incorporate PCA. Uh, into a framework where instead of taking x, y coordinates, we take the distances and try based on the distances to reconstruct the images or to classify the images to actually construct a matrix that so distances of, uh, you know, obviously inherent distances or intrinsic dis distances, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then classify the images not based on the vector of a sample. Uh, depth in z direction, but actual distances uh, in one direction or another, and hopefully we have code to do that. Uh, then we can do all these comparisons and show what approach is better than the other. We should compare distances. We shouldn't be comparing x y coordinates. It doesn't make no sense, uh, and it should be pretty easy to see to to, to show that. Uh, I think it would be better if we had very good results for PCA pure PCA approach. Uh, is that would have shown that uh, we at least try as hard as the other groups, but they have all this refinement and you know they build a PhD upon PhD, which uses the code from the previous person, so they get really good performance to you know which we can accumulate in just a, a few months project. So uh, next video we will uh, we'll try and show this visually.